Hello there folks, my name is Spooks and welcome back to another episode of Box Office Chat. This is the show where I break down the top 5 domestic box office results, see where each movie landed, and see how well each movie did. So let's get started. Number 5 was The Blind, making $4.3 million this weekend, and since it opened on Thursday, it adds to a domestic total of $5 million, and that total stays the same worldwide as it hasn't been released in any international countries. So I was unaware that this movie was coming out, which I know that's on me, I apologize, but it, you know, it's still nice to see one of these types of movies just uh, come out of the blue and shake things up in the top 5. I thought for sure Dumb Money would be the one to enter in the top 5, at least in this area, but no, it even surpassed that, which is insane. If you don't know what this is about, it's the story of Phil Robertson, you may know him from the show Duck Dynasty and what he had to go through, and it seems his story has left a big impact on audiences and made enough to crack the top 5. I don't think it's going to be on here for much longer, but the fact that, once again, not only was it able to top dumb money and, and just let alone just crack the top 5 is quite impressive and you know not much more else to say here i i didn't know this was coming out and the fact that it was able to crack the top five is definitely noteworthy and definitely something uh to be proud about i think for the filmmakers number four was the nun 2 making 4.7 million this weekend adding to a domestic total of 76 million and a worldwide total of 232 million dollars so after three straight weekends of being number one at the box office, it has finally been dethroned, and despite stiff competition this weekend, it still held pretty well, just dropping 44% from the previous weekend, which is pretty good to say the least. I think it's a combination of the fact that, you know, this is still being well received by audiences and the fact that we are officially in spooky month so i'm sure a lot of people want to get into the spooky spirit by seeing this movie if they haven't already and where it's headed i think it's got enough to get to 80 million domestically i don't think it's going to reach the heights of megan or scream 6 but this is still a very solid run for the nun 2 especially considering that uh the cinema score wasn't great the fact that it's doing this well especially internationally this movie is just a juggernaut in terms of horror uh is definitely very solid to say the least so yeah good on you the nun too you've been doing very well so far Number three was The Creator, opening with $14 million this weekend domestically and $32 million worldwide. So unfortunately, The Creator had a very disappointing opening. I thought interest for this movie was much bigger. I thought walk-ups would help out and with the positive reviews early on that would spark an interest as well as some of the clever marketing stunts the film did. But unfortunately, this movie was a pretty big disappointment overall despite being only 80 million dollars which is impressive for this type of movie uh it's still not enough to help the movie out it's not really breaking out either domestically or internationally so and, and this movie's just gonna really need to have the strong word of mouth They're re they were probably really hoping that this would catch on but i'm not sure if even that's gonna happen it got a b plus on cinema score which may be good for this type of movie but i'm not sure with all the competition coming out and with it being spooky month if a lot of people are gonna rush out to go and see this so yeah overall this is a pretty disappointing opening hopefully things turn out better for this movie maybe it'll improve maybe it'll find its audience but as far as its start off things ain't looking too good number two was saw x opening with 18 million this weekend domestically and 29 million dollars worldwide this is the sixth biggest opening weekend for a horror film this year topping the pope's exorcist but sitting behind evil dead rise megan the nun 2 insidious the red door and scream 6. This is also the 6th biggest opening weekend in the Saw franchise, topping the first Saw, Jigsaw, Saw 6, and Spiral from the Book of Saw, but it still sits behind Saw 3D, Saw 5, Saw 2, Saw 4, and Saw 3. So yeah, this is a pretty solid opening given everything. The fact that I was able to top the creator is 
very surprising it goes to show you that which movie had more interest i also think the fact that it is the beginning of october aka spooky month a lot of people wanted to go out and see something spooky to get into the spooky spirit of halloween and also saw is just become this notable horror franchise and with them coming out with a new one i think that sparked a lot of interest the marketing was great with all the clever publicity stunts and you know people seem to really like it reviews were solid the first positive reviews in this franchise i believe from critics and it got a b on cinema score which is one of the more better received films in the franchise it will be interesting to see how this does in terms of its legs as uh it is once again october and there's a lot of horror movies coming out this month so we'll see how it stacks up against the competition also given that it saw this could be a much more front-loaded movie but we'll see uh in terms of its opening though this is a great start especially with the, with the fact that this only costed 13 million dollars so it's already on the doubling point worldwide and it looks like it's going to continue to be a modest hit for itself so yeah not much more else to say but good on you saw and finally let's end the video off with the number one movie of the weekend which was paw patrol the mighty movie opening with 22 million dollars this weekend domestically and 45 million dollars worldwide this is the fifth biggest opening weekend for an animated film this year topping ruby gilman teenage kraken but still sitting behind teenage mutant ninja turtles mutant mayhem Elemental, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, and the Super Mario Brothers movie. It is the sixth biggest opening weekend for a family film this year, behind the aforementioned four films along with The Little Mermaid, and it is the third animated film this year to open at number one, behind, of course, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse and the Super Mario Brothers movie. So this is a pretty solid opening for the Paw Patrol. I was not expecting it to top the creator or even Saw X, but it was able to do so, which is quite impressive. It also had a much bigger opening than the first one. Granted, the first one was released day and date in theaters and on streaming, along with the fact that it was around the time of the Delta variant. But still, you know, the fact that it was able to get over that film's uh opening is very promising it shows that interest for this was a bit bigger than uh the prior installment and maybe the audience for the first film has grown much larger than what it was when the first one came out and on top of that the movie wasn't that expensive to make it only costed 30 million dollars which is just a four million dollar increase from the first film's budget of 26 million dollars and given where it's at both domestically and worldwide i see no reason why this won't double that budget very soon word of mouth does seem to be very strong it got an a on cinema score which is an improvement over the first film's a minus cinema score and given the fact that this is going to be the only animated family film in theaters until Trolls in November, I can see this movie having some staying power, strong legs. Again, the word of mouth does seem to be strong, and Paw Patrol is such a big franchise at this point. Uh, I could see it, have, once again, having strong legs. So yeah, things are looking very good for Paw Patrol, the mighty movie. This is a great start. We'll see how it does in terms of its legs. Uh, Again, this is based off of a TV show, a popular TV show, but still a TV show. So there is the chance that this could be front loaded. But otherwise, this is things are looking very good for the Paw Patrol movie. I have no much more else to say here except, you know, job well done, Paw Patrol. And those were your top five domestic box office results for this weekend, but we're not quite done yet as we got another week ahead of us and new movies hitting theaters. And this weekend, we have one new major wide release, that film being The Exorcist Believer. This is a reboot or continuation of The Exorcist franchise, as well as the fact that it's apparently going to be the startup of a trilogy of new Exorcist movies. Apparently the sequel has already been dated for 2025. They have definitely got a lot of confidence in this movie. The marketing has been insane. I've been seeing a lot of promos and ads for it. They even gave it its own haunted house at Universal Halloween Horror Nights this year, which which apparently is very popular and i do see some buzz some interest for this movie as well as the fact that you know 
horror has just been dominating and with it being october i can see uh people wanting to go out and see this along with the fact that you know a lot of other horror movies such as saw x and the nun 2 have been doing very well recently but i don't know i don't think this movie's gonna blow up like the studio expects it to i think it's gonna have a good opening especially since this is blumhouse and they don't cost that much to make uh but i don't know i don't think this is gonna meet the expectations they were hoping for with this movie because while the buzz is there it's not like you know saw x or the nun 2 where i saw people talking about it and getting all hyped up and excited for it we're here it just seems like yeah yeah there's another exorcist movie maybe but yeah so i i think it's gonna have a solid opening but it's not gonna be like one of the more impressive openings we've seen for like a horror movie but we'll see how well this movie truly does as well as the rest of the movies that land in the top five on the next box office chat and that's gonna do it for this week's episode of box office chat what did you all think of the results were you satisfied unsatisfied comment down below and let me know if you like this video hit the like button if you like this channel hit the subscribe button follow me on all those social media links right there and until next time everyone stay sharp